What's up guys? Today I'm comparing Steel Rapid Super Chain with Husqvarna X-Cut and the Oregon LPX. Actually not the LPX, it's the LGX. These three chains are the top chains you're gonna find anywhere you go. A lot of chains that you buy from other brands, they're just rebranded Oregon chain. So we're gonna see which one of these is faster today, starting with the Oregon chain. Stop in in the comments section and let me know which type of chain you run and why. We're gonna go ahead and warm this saw up for a couple minutes and then I'll start cutting. I'm gonna go ahead and let this chainsaw warm up for a minute. Let's go ahead and throw the Husqvarna chain on here and see how it does. This chain is one link shorter than the steel and the organ. It just comes pre-cut in that length of 80 lengths instead of 81. So it took me a little couple extra cranks to put it on there, but it does fit. The Husqvarna X-Cut chain that's available for this drive link, which is 325, it's called the chamfer tooth. It doesn't have a reputation as being the fastest type of tooth, but this is the direct competitor with the like fastest versions of everybody else's chain. And I've run it and I know it's very smooth, but this is also, interestingly, this is also a kickback protected chain as well. They do have a very t high tech design on it. It's a pretty new chain. So let's see what it's got. <laughs>
right? Well, the way this felt to me was that the steel chain was the fastest because I could put pressure onto the saw and it didn't slow the motor down. The Husqvarna chain grabs really nice, but it also pulls the saw down. Not all saws like to be pulled down that way, so there could be some difference there between different saws when you run it, which saws like it more, but that's not what this video is. I'm just comparing the chain, how well it goes through the wood, the way I cut, because when I'm cutting, I'm, I'm cutting for optimum speed. So if I feel I can put more pressure, I will. If I can't put pressure, then I just let it gravity feed through. And Husqvarna chain loves to gravity feed through the, the log. It loves to just bite and pull itself in there at its own pace. And what ends up happening is you don't dog in as much. And when you don't dog in, often you'll end up having more accurate, you'll be either more accurate or straighter cuts then versus when you dog in and you crank the saw, a lot of times there's some torsion going on there where you end up being sighted wrong for your cuts and your notches have to get redone and things like that. These chains are all great when they're brand new. Uh, the Oregon, to be honest, it just feels a little bit doggy and slow to me. You can't, you can't bite into the wood harder with it and put more pressure. And when you just let it auto feed, it just kind of gradually goes down. So I think if you can fine tune the Oregon chain, that's probably great. Stop in in the comments section and let me know which type of chain you run and why. I'd be curious to know what's the most popular type of chain, because I know Oregon chain is more easy to acquire, but the steel chain is a little bit more expensive, and then Husqvarna, I don't know, if you run a Husky saw, maybe you prefer to run Husky chain. Let me know what you think. Do you cross brands? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.